In the heart of the Deep South, a story unfolds, a story that captures the essence of justice, prejudice and innocence. Welcome to our journey through Harper Lee's timeless masterpiece, To Kill a Mockingbird, a novel that has not only stood the test of time, but has also become a beacon in the world of literature. First published in the summer of 1960, it's a tale that explores the moral complexities of a racially divided America. Our journey takes us to the quiet and quaint town of Maycomb, Alabama, set during the harsh times of the Great Depression. Here, we are introduced to a world seen through the innocent eyes of a young girl named Scout Finch. As we traverse the dusty roads of this southern town and meet its intriguing inhabitants, we are drawn into a narrative that is as compelling as it is thought-provoking. Through the eyes of young Scout Finch, we witness the world around her transform. Scout, her brother Jem, and their father Atticus, are at the heart of this tale. These three characters form the backbone of Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird, each playing a distinctive role that contributes to the narrative's richness. Let's begin with Scout. Jean-Louise Finch, affectionately known as Scout, is our young and spirited narrator. Through her innocent eyes we get a glimpse of the world around her, filled with curiosity and wonder. She embarks on a journey of understanding and maturity, learning about the harsh realities of life and the importance of empathy. Next, we have Jeremy Finch, or Jem, Scout's older brother. Jem is a protective figure navigating adolescence amidst the turmoil of the events that unravel in the story. His character development is a pivotal element of the narrative, showcasing the loss of childhood innocence and the growth into adulthood. Then there's their father, Atticus Finch. Atticus is a lawyer of high moral standards, practicing his belief in equal rights and justice in a society that is deeply divided by racial prejudice. His defense of Tom Robinson, a black man wrongfully accused of a grave crime, forms the central conflict of the story. Atticus's character embodies integrity, righteousness and courage, making him one of literature's most revered figures. This leads us to Tom Robinson, whose trial is a significant aspect of the novel. Accused of raping a white woman, Tom represents the countless victims of racial discrimination and injustice. His trial unveils the deeply ingrained prejudice of the society, challenging the beliefs and moral compass of the characters. The trial of Tom Robinson becomes the focal point of the novel, highlighting the pervasive racism and inequality of the time. Each character in their unique way contributes to this narrative painting a vivid picture of the social and moral complexities that define Harper Lee's masterpiece. As we delve deeper into the story, we'll uncover more layers to these characters and their roles, each adding a new dimension to our understanding of To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird is more than just a courtroom drama. It's a narrative that delves deep into the human psyche, exploring themes of empathy, compassion, and the inevitable loss of innocence. The title itself is a symbol, a metaphor for the innocent beings who are harmed by the harsh realities of life, much like a harmless mockingbird being killed for no reason. The novel encourages us to walk in the shoes of others, to understand their experiences, their pain, and their perspectives, just as Atticus Finch advises his children. It's a call to embrace empathy, to challenge prejudice, and to question the status quo. The story introduces us to the enigmatic character of Boo Radley, a man shrouded in mystery and subjected to societal alienation. Boo's character becomes a symbol of the unknown, the misunderstood, the different. He challenges our perceptions, our biases and our fear of the unfamiliar. And then there's Boo Radley, the mysterious neighbor who becomes a symbol of the unknown, challenging our perceptions of what it means to be different. This novel leaves us with questions about our own society. To Kill a Mockingbird stands as a mirror, reflecting our own world back at us. It prompts us to ask, how far have we come since those days of barefaced prejudice and injustice? Have we made strides towards equality, or do we still have a mountain to climb? The beauty of Harper Lee's masterpiece lies in its timeless relevance. It's not just a historical snapshot of a racially divided America, it's a poignant exploration of the human condition, a narrative that transcends time and space to touch upon universal themes of justice, empathy, and innocence. This novel dares to ask the hard questions, pushing us to reflect on our own beliefs, our own prejudices, our own understanding of justice. And that is what makes it a classic, a story that continues to resonate with readers today. As we wrap up our journey through To Kill a Mockingbird, we invite you to pick up this book, 
dive into its pages, and explore the layers of meaning within.